something very common among VR users is um, an insatiable bloodlust for war. We're talking about the combat gamers, the people that like stabbing an NPC a little bit too much, you know, the, the people on a watch list, like the entire Bone Lab subreddit. But there's something that very few VR games get right in this genre, and it's the idea of phantom weight. It's the idea of simulating what an item should weigh in real life and delaying the motion in game so that you get the feeling of it not flying around like a cardboard tube, even though that's still awesome. But what if we added an extra layer of immersion? What if instead of pretending a weapon was heavy, what if it was just actually heavy? I'm gonna break my computer or something. So I reached out to Kiwa Design, who sponsored this video, and asked them to send over their VR controller weights for the Quest 2. Now, these are designed for fitness games, where you're doing a lot of boxing, maybe Beat Saber, or so on, with the idea being that you just added some resistance for an extra burn in your workout. But since the weight clips onto the ring of the controller, it actually makes it pretty top-heavy, which I figured might be absolutely perfect for simulating a weapon's weight in VR. So I benched my Quest 3, uh, don't, don't worry, baby boy, you're still my favorite, slapped on my Oculus-branded Quest 2, and I hopped into my favorite VR combat games to do some, I don't know, is this investigative journalism? I, I don't know, watch me get sweaty. Whew. I'm feeling it in my forearms, like, right here? Right here, I'm feeling, in, I'm, I'm feeling something. So I hopped into Battle Talent first, and with my controller in one hand and my mighty weapon in the other, I figured this would be a really good way to compare the weight. Now, I know this is just a wooden sword, I, but I've had it since I was a kid, and you know, you don't throw away a good sword. Fingers would remember their own strength better if they grasped your sword. I don't want it. I'm so smart. This really does feel like there's something beyond my hand. It's that top heavy. This is great for immersion, dude. Let's play some more of this. So immersive. Wow. I actually like felt my it's heavy enough that it's like, cause it's not crazy heavy, but it's far enough away from your hand that like my, ac my tricep, like I felt it kind of strain there for a sec. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Battle Talent, this is kind of like a slightly jankier blade and sorcery, but with way more content, slightly stylized combat, and not an endless early access period. My arms are getting tired. In both blade and sorcery and in this game, you run by swinging your arms. And some people have varying opinions on that, but I, I love it. And even when it's not weighted controller, this can burn some calories for you. But when there's weight attached, man, doing reps. With this, there's enough delay added from the weight that it's actually one-to-one -one movements. Buddy, buddy, you got something in your heart there. Okay, we're just gonna get your wisdom teeth out the old-fashioned way. Sir, we, we need we need bandages. Sir, I'm a doctor. Don't step on my patient, please. So much easier to predict what movements you should do. Mwah. That's actually really cool. It's harder to throw it. <laughs> Have you get this? Oh wow, look at me. Because every now and then it's, it messes you up because you're trying to swing really, really fast, but sometimes you don't know how much of a phantom weight that weapon's going to have. <gasps> the hero's shield. <laughs> but with this added weight, it's pretty much one-to-one. -one. I'll kill you with a potion. I saved you. Nice and easy, buddy. Man, this is cool. This is really cool. This was a fun idea. Now, people have said this to death in the VR space, so there's no need to ramble on this for too long. Blade and Sorcery is hands down the most polished VR game we currently have. He's just sitting. Oh, never mind. Sleeping. I don't know how to do this game. It's great, but it's just, there's just nothing to play. Show yourself. I am the knight. Hello. Bye -bye. There's a sandbox, cool, but it's just killing people. Oh, there's mods, but it's just killing the same people with Halloween costumes on. Oh, there's magic, and it's just killing people, but you get to burn someone alive or shock them to death, which is, that's healthy on the mind, right? Help? Listen, guys, I understand you don't want to release something that's broken, but it's an early access anyway. We don't care. Just release something. All right, no goofing. Oh, uh, I goofed. Poke? Poke? Poke found a loophole. I'm a ghost now. What happened to my toes? Oh, gosh. Did you just run into my foot? I I guess I got distracted. Uh, yep, the uh, yep the the weighted controllers work well in this game too. Uh, moving on. <gasps> just need to trim my fingernails real quick. Now, first off, this game really is impressive, but Hell Split Arena, surprisingly, I don't really like very much. <laughs> What's happening? Come on. All of the enemies, even the bosses, kind of just ragdoll a bit too easily. It's weird. This feels mean. I feel like a bully. And the absolute zero phantom weight makes weapon movement feel really cheap. That low quality Apple Eat sound. Oh, and the announcer. Oh, oh yeah. Keep it up. 
What? Why is he cheering me on like this is Dance Dance Revolution? Groovy. I'm killing zombies. I don't need to hear you tell me that my kill was groovy. It's just so weird. It's like they can't decide if the game is serious with the story or just a vanity show for whoever voiced this character. Like, they'll delay the start of a level for him to just spout off nonsense that has nothing to do with what you're doing. So here's the intro to one level with actual story. One of the crypts at the old cemetery leads directly to the halls of the dead. There, those are the abandoned catacombs. Compared to the narrator when you get in the level. I see that you found a way to the halls of the dead. Let the one who dares to disturb the peace of the dead see their rage. I know what you're saying. Larry, you're getting too worked up about this. And I agree, and you're probably saying just turn off the narrator. But you can't. And I want to play this game, but he annoys me too much, so I can't. Not bad for a beginner, but you are not the only tough guy here. But anyway, the reason this game is interesting to me is because this game lacks phantom weight, or at least has incredibly little that I don't notice. Like. You know what? This feels way more punchy now. Just having this weight, it feels, well, not real, but realistic. Oh, and I recorded some of this on my ultra-wide by mistake, so everything kind of looks cinematic with black bars. Come on, rock them, sock them. Zombies. Adding weight to this game is what was missing for me. If they added phantom weight to this game, it would make it really good, but like, this is a good close second. I feel more immersed. That's the big thing. And with my experiments complete, I can honestly say this is a really cool accessory. Let me reiterate, it's not built for this, but using it for immersion instead of just for a workout, and you will get the benefit of a workout too, I'm sweating, is actually really cool. Ooh, let's see how it feels with a two-handed sword before we exit battle talent. Definitely not quite as heavy. But you know what? It helps a little bit with simulating the weight. Because this thing in the game is meant to be like, ridiculously heavy. <laughs> like, break your wrist heavy. <laughs> oh yeah, I just did a full 360 there. <laughs> oh god. It does kind of suck that the tracking ring is gone from the Quest 3 though, because now you can't have something like this on the Quest 3 controller. Here's my little hot take, is that the Quest 3 controllers are kind of a gimmick. You can't put on any accessories like these on it, and... I mean, did anyone ever complain about the tracking ring on the Quest 2? Now, to get up there. Oh, hey guys. Do you, do you know how to get over there? No, we're, we're stuck. No? Okay, well, I'm coming up. All right, get him, boys. He fell for the trap. Man, I'm gonna miss you up. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you want to check out these or anything else from Kiwa Design, there's an affiliate link down below. If you're looking for another video to watch, you should check out my video from a couple weeks ago. I was playing Half-Life Alex with a Gunman Contracts mod. It's kind of like John Wick in VR. It's becoming its own game, too. You should check it out. It's gonna be great. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Mm -mm. Am I in the- am I in it? Oh, oh. Right. Steam VR. Oh god. I don't have my twin blade. Do I? No, I do. Okay.